Hey, Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on for you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Maybe dealing with someone, a Pisces, possibly for some of you. I feel like there's some emotions, though, attached to this person. Okay, so I feel like someone is thinking here about... Oh, yeah, it's you. I was going to say dating you. Like, I don't think like this is third party right away. I feel like someone is lost in their emotions. There's a lot of cups here, and then we got the, the moon energy, so... It could be someone is thinking about you a lot, thinking about some time you share together, or maybe they want to spend time with you. You seem to be happy. So you seem to like this person, Virgo. So we're off to a good start. Uh, so again, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but again, it doesn't have to be because there's just a lot of emotions uh, around this person. What is this person thinking about? A relationship with you. Okay, what else? This person longs for you. They look at your pictures. They, they're on Instagram. You guys know my page of coin in this deck or this picture. Anyways, um, this deck is like he's looking at pictures of you, looking at, um, you know, whatever social media account you might be on, maybe looking at texts you've sent, possibly if you sent texts, things like that. So he's mesmerized by this coin. He's like just totally staring at it. So I just feel like this person is mesmerized by you. And as I said that, the star fell out. But if I like this person really has their eye on you like you they think you're very special very attractive I notice under the deck is eight of wands so they may be sending messages this person wants to be in a relationship with you is what it's basically showing me right here so on your side actually excuse me you may be a little bit in, I don't know holding back for some reason for coins could be a timeline, but it feels like what's coming in. And three of wands doesn't mean to me it has to be out in the future. I've actually seen it where it's actually talking about like it's happening now. It's right now, today. So four of coins and justice. I don't know if this person makes you feel shy or you're shy around this person. You're holding back a little bit with this four of coins. Tower. Tower and the ten of cups. <gasps> Okay, there might be someone out there you, you're actually already in a relationship or you're already married. This person might not might not know. So that won't be for most of you, but there is somebody out there that you haven't either you haven't told them yet. Well, they're going to find out. The three of cups is here, then a page of coin. They're going to probably find out. Some of you though, somebody you're in a relationship or there's something that you haven't told this person, and you're afraid. Well, some of you can also read this as you want to get married to this person, or you're feeling like you may you may be dropping a bomb on this person. Do you have something that you need to tell them that you haven't told them yet? Like you have kids, or you're already married, or you don't live in the same area, or something that they think you live, or something. But justice, power, the ten of cups. Ace of swords. Yeah, see, there's some sort of truth here. And it looks like it's coming from your side. I don't think this is them having to tell you something. It's you. There's something that you haven't told them yet that you may be afraid that they don't they won't like. Maybe some of you got a divorce or I don't know why that would matter, but why they they wouldn't be bothered by that. Uh, what's gonna happen if you tell them this? Okay, let's do it this way, because you guys are talking to each other, it looks like. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. There's a lot of going back and forth here. This is good energy. This is this is understanding. This is something they're surprised about. Okay, so again, if this isn't you, it's them. One of you has something you haven't told the other person. And I think you're afraid that if you tell this to them, they're not going to like you anymore. They're not going to date you. Or they are afraid to tell you the secret but you need to know this what is it that's doing hidden what is it if it's them what is it that they're hiding six of swords they have to move or they're moving on six of wands cool i feel like they could be starting something new <clears throat> and they haven't told you like maybe they're going to start a job out of state or they're going to be um Yeah, see, so it's showing a job or something. Maybe they've gotten a new job. Maybe they're moving on. Maybe this is somebody, for a few of you, you work with this person, and you guys um, just started talking recently, and now one of you is already leaving. Uh, maybe, again, could be someone is married. I'm not, I'm not, no. If someone's married, it's like they did a, a really fast, quickie wedding. They got married out of nowhere. 
for somebody to kind of get like, this is someone coming back into your life, <clears throat> excuse me, and then they haven't told you yet that they got married to their, like, bestie or something, just, just, why not, like, let's just, I don't know, something like that, something weird, Tower, with the Ten of Cups, they don't want to disappoint you, I feel like they're trying to figure out how to tell you this, or you're trying to figure out how to tell them something, what is going on in this, like, this person is afraid to tell you this and lose you, or they're afraid to tell you this, and then, yeah, you won't like them anymore, so, so they may be withdrawn right now, single, lonely, or solitary, okay, I think there's pulling back, out of pride, arrogance, ego, or someone being stubborn, a realization needs clarity, all right, some of you may, this person may be withdrawing from you because of a reason that's, okay, you may think it's like their pride, their pride's getting away, or like they're being, their big ego, or they're being stubborn, or an asshole, or something, it, that may not be what's going on, Or again, okay, take it as a resonance because one of you is, is withdrawing. The other person's taking it as being mean. Like they don't like you don't like them or they don't like you or but there's a realization here that, that something needs clarity. What's the clarity? Can you give me one more from this deck? Different perspective. Confession. See, confession, different perspective. This deck's not really telling me what it is. So I can't tell exactly what's going on, what someone is hiding. You can hear that you can see here that someone is trying to frame it in a different way so like it's better. The news isn't so bad. I feel like somebody went off and did something, like they went and got married or engaged or something, and now they're regretting it because now you've come back around or something like that. Tower. Six of Cups is in reverse. Two of Pentacles. Seven of Coins. Oh, I see the Seven of Coins is nurturing. Like, he's nurturing this plant. Um, he's done his very best to take care of it. He do, it's very fragile still. So, it's like this relationship is fragile between the two of you. They don't want to move too quickly or say anything, right? Like, that's going to spook you or scare you off. But they have something they want to tell you. But, I mean, it... Well, no, I don't want to say that. I was going to say it could... It could... <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's a disease or anything, but I mean, I don't know. There's something, there's this feeling of, I can't tell you too soon, Virgo, because then uh, you won't want to date me or you won't want to talk to me or something like that. So I got to kind of like wait, wait for the truth. Six of Cups in Reverse tells me this person doesn't want to go back to a past person. They don't want to go back to their past. They don't want to, something like that. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Six of Cups in Reverse. Two Coins deciding to nurture something. Seven of Coins. This definitely could have something to do with an ex- or X, I don't think they're with the X. If it's an X, I don't think they're with them. But Knight of Wands, the Sun. You guys have a good time together in the Two of Cups, yeah, and the Strength card. So there's this energy around the two of you, like this is working. It's really good. It's fun. And so they're trying to decide. So I think this person is withdrawn or withdrawing to think this through. To think, okay, what should I do? Should I? you know, pursue this person and just wait it out. And then maybe I'll have a, they'll have a different perspective of me. And then I won't have to tell them or I'll, I'll tell them later. And then they'll already like me. So it won't be so bad or something like that. It's like, let's go have fun because, but there's a lot of love between the two of you and I'll tell them later and nurture this. Maybe they've already dropped the bomb on you too. Cause tower is here. I mean, for somebody viewing, you've already heard the bomb. The bomb is that they're married. Tower 10 of cups is like, holy shit, you're married. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah, but we're separated and we're this, we're that. So that is the bomb that was dropped. This person, they're not going back to their past, Six of Cups. They don't want the X. Remember, get the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, how do they feel about the X? Let me see. Let me get one card for those. A view that this, this resonates or will resonate. You may not know this yet. This person is maybe confused right now as well as I'm picking up. Um... Getting a lot to do with their head, their headspace, overthinking, thinking too much, headaches. Three of coins. They're trying to work things out with the ex, but that can mean get along. Usually when I see stuff like that, they're either in a divorce or they still have, you know, they have kids together. Or they're trying to sell, like, the house or something. Three of coins. But were there any feelings there? The card I like to see is death. I like to see death card because I know there's no feelings with death card. 
That's Page of Peps is in reverse. Okay. There's no love messages. That's uh that's good. Emperor taking control. Could be an Aries involved. Ace of Swords, truth. Eight of Coins. No, so whoever this is, if they're dealing with someone like that, it's all work. They're trying to keep it all business. Trying to like man or woman emperor up. Just take care of what needs to be taken care of. Get along without arguing. Like, why waste time arguing? And Ace of Swords, you know, truth is here. So this is interesting. <clears throat> so they're hiding something, but they really like you. But again, it's kind of like here. Like this sums it up right here. They're worried about this, but they're just going to like proceed with you. Just proceed forward. Just, let's go have fun. Let's go do things together. Let's go get let's go get to know each other. Let's see how this works out. Because maybe you guys won't work out anyways. <clears throat> you know, just because you're dating someone, maybe it just won't work out. You guys won't click. But um, they do seem to really like you. Okay, I'm in denial about my feelings for you. I don't know what to say to you. Walking away from you may realize how much I love you. And this is that withdrawn energy where they pulled back. They say that you feel like home to them. And one last one. It says, I'm still learning how to love myself. I'm going to take this one because it wanted to come with it. And I want you to love me for who I am. They're still... Now, this person could be insecure. They could definitely be... Um, I guess that's another word I'm kind of insecure. I don't know. What's another word like that? I'm learning to love myself and I want to, you to love me for who I am. What does that last card mean? What does that last card mean? Are they hiding something? Listen to your intuition. Page of Swords. I feel like this person can be mean at times or say mean things to you. They could be spying on you right now, uh, keeping track of you even though they're not talking to you. The hanged man. The person may be jealous or insecure. Also, they may not like, like, if you were with someone already, like, let's say you're still married, they may not like that at all and, and say things and be very nasty. Um, like, let's say you're separated from your person, though, but you're trying to, uh, get like, break things off, but financially you're having trouble. They may not like that, but, so I can read this a lot of different ways, deciding what to do in a Three of Cups. That would be happy. It's like they don't want to lose you, Virgo. Like, they see you as high quality, Nine of Coins, and it's like, so they could... Again, go one way or the other, but they, I feel like they want to stick with this. They don't want this to. They don't want to let this go. What is on your side? One more on your side. Ace of Swords. How are you feeling? You're happy. Messages are coming in. You seem happy. You got the Sun card here. So they're, they seem to be saying something that you like. It could be an apology page of coin or something along that line. It could be an Earth sign for some of you. Taurus, Virgo, Cap. Of course. Um, could be, I don't think this is you. You could be dating another Virgo, but <clears throat> a new beginning here and an, an offer. So I'm getting, if you've been in lack of communication, it could be coming in very soon. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Your person's exhausting. I can just, like, their energy is very heavy. Very heavy here. Social media. So I've been on it watching this awakening. And one more. Strongly attracted. Yeah. So I think this person keeps an eye on you. May not realize it, but they're watching. I have to sneeze. I'm sorry. It's fine. So I'm going to leave it here. Have a great weekend.